Hello everyone and welcome to Robot C for Dummies. And today's video, as you can see from the title, we are going to learn about uh, how the VEX ultrasonic sensors are going to be. And also, this is the agenda that I set for myself. And uh, by end of this video, you would all be hopefully be able to learn what an ultrasonic sensor is and how it is going to work and and uh, how to set up ultrasonic sensors for your robot. And, and if you look at uh, this agenda that I've said, including doing the sample program that works with your claw bot to create a robot that moves until it meets an object at a certain distance. These are all the things, essential things that people always get confused over when they are trying to program an ultrasonic sensor. And, and the sad thing is these things are actually very simple to do. But many people, since they do not take those uh, precautionary steps of reading your manual or not um, you know looking at the vex competition outline and you know many people get confused on how do you actually use and these sensor uh, believe me or not are actually very very helpful when it comes to the real life competition by end of this video, I'll also be including a virtual world simulation, which you could see how uh, this sample code is exactly going to work in an actual claw bot. And by the way, I'm doing this out of uh, pure curiosity. If you look at all this virtual world, you would see that I'm doing it as simultaneously with you all. So there could be chances of failure and there could also be chances of winning. So let's just see how uh, things go out. So. To come to the main point on what an ultrasonic sensor is, so this is the ultrasonic sensor. So if you look at this, this is the typical one uh, that you would get in a VEX kit. And if you look at it, there's going to be um, uh, like two types of mesh type of ports. If you look at this, they look like speakers. That's what you know everyone says. They look like speakers and they are actually one of them is speaker. So in case if you're wondering what these sensors do, so what uh, this... Um, you know, there's just like an audio type of sensor over here. So what it does is essentially these uh, this um, this this type of um, this device over here in this sensor. What it does is it emits sound pulses. So what it does is, is it, it's essentially a speaker. What happens is it, it emits sound pulses, and these some sound pulses actually travel towards an object a physical solid object so let's just imagine this banner that i have over here this web browser banner that i have this is going to be an object or a wall so what happens is these sensors they emit sound pulses and what happens is these sound pulses go towards this wall they hit this object and what happens is they get echoed back they get reflected back just like light hitting and reflecting back from the mirror so what happens is these sound pulses hit this wall and they get reflected back so what happens is they come back towards this reading sensor and what happens is this reading sensor essentially it times so you know some people think okay all right so it goes and then this sound pulses go hit the object and comes back but how does this actually work so it's a very simple mechanism so what happens is sound pulses that this um, vex uh, sensor emits it travels all at constant velocity provided you know you don't have a medium um, of a different uh, variable like say if you don't have a different temperature or something these sensors are going to work according to the way that you want them to with accurate precision um, so what these sensors actually do is they measure the time it takes for the echo to come back so it emits the sound pulse it get reflected and it takes uh, and it times how long it takes for the echo to come back so that's how these sensors know oh you know we are you know what this robot uh, that we are on it's going to be like 20 cm away from that object in front or it's going to be 20 inches away from the object in front and so on variables you can set and and that's how uh, the vex sensor uh, ultrasonic sensor is going to work like and another part that I want to address on is uh, how to actually physically connect this sensor uh, to the cortex and, you know, you, yeah, how to sync them. So one of the things that people get confused over is the two wire input and output from these types of sensors. So it's very simple. So all you have to remember is input, this input wire that you have on top 
as you can see if you can uh, you know try to create this or uh, you know create you know try to tilt this what happens is this input wire it always goes to the top portion of your um, card deck so what do I mean is let's just say I have um, the digital board by the way you would connect an ultrasonic sensor to the digital ports so what happens is this input wire that you have that is uh, protruding from the sensor this input wire would go to port 1 whatever port you have the smallest value that you would like to plug in say for example I would like to use ports 1 and 2 for this digital sensor the input wire would go to port 1 and my output my output would be connected to um, the, the port 2 so that's how it's going to be connected and and same goes to every other ports for example if uh, my input is going to be plugged into 8 my output is going to be plugged into 9 and so on and so forth so that's how uh, basically you would connect your ultrasonic sensors and programming them is another part so uh, let's jump to that so that's how you would actually connect your uh, so yes they're going to be physically connected and now let's just go to implementing the soul on how these sensors are going to work like so for example let's get jump into the program so this is how i have the program and if you go to motor and sensor setup you would start to notice that these um, digital sensor values i have uh, these standard encoders connected to my claw ball and in this uh, digital 8 i have my sonar sensor and and this sonar sensor that i'm using it uses centimeters or cm it uses uh, that uh, units to measure the distance in front you could also set it to inches or you could set it to meters or there could be a lot of variables you could set it but i'm just trying to keep it um, uh, as the default as CM so uh, and remember that you would connect the input wire here and output wire over here and so th that would be the sonar sensor and I click OK and and if you look at this this is a very simple program all right very simple it's not any way complicated if you look at this um, try to digest it for a while and if you can see if I can scroll down so if you can see I've actually essentially made this program such a way that so the robot will wait for two seconds. That's how it's going to, um, you know, know that two seconds I'm going to wait and then it's going to jump to this loop. So in this, this is a while loop, by the way. And those of you who are interested in sensors, I have uh, told in my previous video that while loops and even maybe for loops, these are the two most common loops and, and also sorry, if loops. So these three loops are the ones that uh, many people mostly use with VEX and out of them if and while loops are the most famously used loops. So if you're using a while loop, this is how you would program the ultrasonic sensor. So while, so this is like natural language, while this sensor value of sonic sensor under this parenthesis, sonar sensor is going to be more than 20 or it's going to be a sensor value of less than or equal to zero. So what I'm essentially trying to say is if the sonar sensor is, is beyond 20 cm from an object, it's going to run the loop. So for example, if my object is 40 cm away from the from an from a from an object, it's still going to run. The robot is run is going to run towards the object. And what happens is once when it reaches a point where it's going to be where it's going to be 20 cm from the object it stops because it doesn't want to go any further so that's how it's going to work and that zero that i've set here uh please remember to set or sensor value sensor because what happens is you have to set this um the next part of this loop because if you don't you're not trying to uh, tell the sensors what's the threshold so wh what do i mean is it should be either more than 20 or it should be less than zero which is not possible but you have to set those type of thresholds so when i have stated here in my program that zero is used as a absolute minimum threshold value and so uh, that would be the the loop and under this loop so my motors my right motors and left chassis motors they are gonna constantly run at the speed of 63 and so let's click compile so if you're very interested if my program actually fails or works let's see um, if it works so uh, click compile let's download this to a virtual world robot and uh, let's
let's see if it works. So I have a, a, um, a Robo C type of table. Let's start the activity. It'll take two seconds. It goes. Oops, oopsie. Actually, it stopped. If you look at it, it stopped. So let, let's just try again, you know. I don't want you to, uh, you know, believe that my program doesn't work. So let's just, let's just set this a bit more higher value. Let's just say this is going to be 40 CM, you know. Let's just say this is going to be 40 CM. Let's just say this is going to be 40 CM. So uh, if this is going to be 40 CM, let's download this to my robot and see if how far it is going to go before actually hitting that uh, that can. So let's just start this program and see how it's going to work. So if you're interested, this is how it's going to look from the top view. I'm going to set up my sensor. So it's going to wait for two seconds. It's moving forward. It's moving forward. Please stop. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. If you look at this, it's going to fall. Just now, its claw was very close. It was like 20 cm. It was over here. So, you know, my, my program said I, I failed this course. But now, it's exactly before actually even interfering with this can that I over here. So, hopefully, the program works now and you could have some trust on that program. I'll be including this in the description below. And so, uh, that's how you would actually program an ultrasonic sensor. And thanks for watching my videos guys and uh, click the subscribe button below if you would like to watch more videos on this thank you and have a nice day